Question 1.3, we're still uh, trying to simplify algebraic equations and expressions. It is a very powerful question because it's not a straightforward question. It's one of those questions that you normally never meet often. It's what we call problem solving questions. Let's see what it says to us. It says if 3 to the power 9x equals to 64 and 5 to the power uh, of the square root of p is also equal to 64, Calculate without the use of a calculator the value of 3 to the power x minus 1, everything raised to the power of 3, divided by the square root of 5 to the power of the square root of p. Now, when you look at this kind of question, more often than not, we call them problem-solving questions because you just never know where to start. The idea is pretty simple. You need to make sure that you find a way of engaging the given information in what you need to simplify. Right, so I'm going to take the question that we need to simplify, which was given to us as 3, right, to the power of x minus 1, and then everything here is raised to the power of 3, everything divided by the square root of 5 to the power of the square root of p. Okay, so for us to be able to do something on this, we need to find a way of engaging what was given to us. If you look here, let's start first of all with what we have on uh, the numerator, which is on top of this expression. We've got 3 to the power 9x equals to 64. And I can see I've got 3 here, but then this 3 is not raised to the power of 9. It's only raised to the power of x minus 1. However, there's an external exponent 3 there, which I can use and distribute and see what will end up uh, with what we are sitting with here. It's going to be 3 to the power of 3 times 3 will give us, I mean 3 times x will simply give us 3x, and then 3 times minus 1 will simply give us minus 3, everything divided by what is on the denominator. Now when I look at what is on the denominator, it looks like the second part of the given information, which is the 5 to the power square root of p. But I've got a square root of 5 here instead of just 5. So I'm going to try and see if I can isolate the square root that we are currently looking at there. So I'm going to write this as 5 to the power of half multiplied by the square root of p because the square root of 5 is the same as 5 to the power of half. Okay, cool. So now when I simplify this further, you will see that we end up with 3 to the power of 3x multiplied by 3 to the power of negative 3 divided by 5 to the power of the square root of p inside the brackets, and then I'm going to actually put the half outside. What principle am I applying here? I'm applying the laws of exponents. And according to the laws of exponents, um, half times root p is the same as root p times half. So I can actually swap those exponents, put the square root of p before the half. Why am I doing this? I'm forcing it to look like what was given to us. And if you look there, uh, on the given information, 5 to the power of square root of p, we now have 5 to the power of square root of p on our denominator. But then we still have a problem on the numerator. The examiner gave us 3 to the power 9x. We only have 3 to the power 3x. So we need to now uh, separate the 9 and try to get a 3 out of it. And I'm going to do this uh, here on the side so that we can be able to see what we can uh, do here. 3 to the power of 9x can be written as 3 to the power of 3x multiplied by 3, which simply means that we can actually say this is 3 to the power of 3x in brackets, everything raised to the power of 3. Okay, so if you look at that versus what is given to us um, on the given information, we will see that we were told that 3 to the power of 9x equals to 64. That simply means from the simplification we just did here, we can just write this as 3 to the power of 3x, everything cubed is equal to 64. 64 in exponential form can be written as 2 to the power something. It can also be written as uh, 8 to the power something. But most importantly, it can also be written as 4 to the power of 3. Why am I choosing 4? 
I'm choosing four because I want the exponents to look the same. Because then I can simply say to you, if um, 3 to the power of 3x is raised to the power of 3 and 4 is also raised to the power of 3, since the exponents are the same, the conclusion is that 3 to the power of 3x is just simply equal to 4, which is what we are looking for. Right. Now, when you go back to our expression that must be simplified, the first part, 3 to the power 3x, we just uh, established that this is the same as 4, so I'm going to substitute 4 there. So it's going to be 4 multiplied by 3 to the power negative 3 is the same as 1 over uh, 27 because it's 1 over 3 to the power 3, okay? And then um, divided by 5 to the power of uh, the square root of p, we were told that this is equal to 64. So I'm going to substitute that as well as 64 to the power of 1 over 2, right? And we were told not to use a calculator here, so we know for a fact that we need to simplify it all the way. Let's see what will happen. So this is going to be 4 multiplied by 1 over 27 divided by 64, which is basically 8 squared, right? Everything raised to the power of 1 over 2. The idea is to eliminate the half, uh, which is on our exponent there. This is going to be 4 um, multiplied by 1 uh, over 27 and then everything divided by 8. The 2 times half is just going to be 1, so this is simply going to be 8. And the final answer that we are currently dealing with here will just be 4. I think 4 goes once into 4, and it goes twice here into this. So we end up with 1 over 27 multiplied by 1 over 2, which is just simply going to be 1 um, over... 54. And this is the solution to the question that we're currently dealing with.